Okay, this may be my most impromptu stream yet. With about minute warning. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm going to have any chatters in here with me or not. But I had about an hour, hour and a half. And I wanted to show you guys what I did today. And do more. So, I'm going to wait a couple minutes and see if anybody shows. And then we will go from there. Um, excuse me. I'm going to grab a couple other pieces. Hey, Tanya. You're the early bird. I'm going to grab some fabric. I'll be right back. I only had, I decided about eight minutes ago to stream. And I um, only have about an hour and a half. So I thought, let's just get to it. I had an idea that hit me as they do. I don't know if you saw my post on Instagram where I ended up spoiling that piece of fabric that I uh, was using the wet brush on yesterday. Not the wet brush, the wet sponges. Um, I'm looking through my stash of boutique fabric. I'm going to pick out something to do here. That was kind of cool. I mean, I only have an hour, so we need to pull every piece of fabric out known to man. We'll just go with these couple and see what happens. Oh, there's more of jumped in. Allie, Barbara, Elaine, Jackie, Dot, Lorena. Hey Z, welcome guys. Talk about your last minute stream, but look, I found my missing brushes. They were in pennies. Remember the penny made us all these um, brush covers a year or two ago with the um, our, my retreat. Hey Kath, I found them. <laughs> oh, I knew I couldn't lose them. My Neptunes and my, where did I go that I took all my good ones? <laughs> I don't know. That might have been with you, Z, over at Queen's Inc. For uh, whatever that last thing was we did over there. And these new specialty brushes that I never even used yet. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, found it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Supply Fairy, for leading me in the right direction. Oh, <laughs> you found yours and yours, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I was playing a little bit with uh, some of the um, papers from the other day. Some worked, some didn't, as they do. <laughs> hey, Janice. I, she just pinged me. She said she'll be on. Um, that's right. It's Paul's birthday, isn't it? Hey, April. I'm glad I found them too. Ay, ay, ay. Um, so, 619. I got about an hour and a half. <coughs> Remember the under paper I put underneath that wet sponging this that I did the other day when it was all wet and I was sponging and I put this under to grab some of the metallics? Well, I foiled over it. Look how cool that is. That's the champagne deco foil. And that worked out well. It didn't, I mean, just very little spotty, tiny little dots of foil stuck little places. See, it looks like glitter. That's little bits of foil. But basically, it just foiled the design. However, this was a piece of my roll-off paper that I make washi tape out of. Hey, Gala. You've got your Klondike. <laughs> Have Klondike, will travel. Um. And this is that really pretty one that looked like it was um, Raku. And I put a really cool script stamp that I had on it with the, the toner. Let me pull out a little bit. And even on a three, it covered the whole thing. Now, if you look at the exact right angle, you can kind of see the script in there a little bit. 
and the color a teeny tiny little bit, but you got to be looking really close for that. Otherwise, it looks like gold tape, which I mean, you know, how bad is that? This one, I used a different stamp that had rows of tiny dots and little arrows and little checks and stuff. You can sort of kind of see the strips of that in there, but you can't really make it out. Another gold one. This, I turned this down to a two. This came out completely gold. I don't even know. Oh, well, I can see that what was under there. Those same designs with those little strips and dots. That was that indigo stamp that I saw Rachel showed on her, um, one of her hauls. And I had a heck of a time finding it, but I found it. I thought it would be great for foiling little bits. Um, but you can't see any of the little bits because it's all gold, which that's not so bad. This one, I tried it with that crazy silver foil. This was the underpaper, my newsprint from that mess from last night. Eh, it's okay. It's a little, it's a little bit much <laughs> for what I'm doing now. But what I thought like, you know what? I wanted to do something else to this piece of fabric. Guess what I did? I foiled that sucker. And this, the stamp came out. Now you can see a little bit of the foil on the, um, the row of the green square stamps I put down here and the long, the triple little lines underneath of this. You can see, I'll see if I can make you see where the foil did stick a little bit to that. There you can kind of see it right off to this left side outside of this last row of these dots you can see where some of that uh, up in here you can see it too but it's very faint but you can see the pattern see all those little stripes and dots and arrows and um that worked and that's on fabric and it seems to be staying on there so i thought Hey, oh, why don't we do that some more? Um, I used the, the um, Mink Heidi Swap liquid toner, which you can't find anywhere right now. It's on back order everywhere. Uh, put it out on a nonstick pad like Tim Holtz demonstrated on Heidi's Instagram channel a couple weeks ago, maybe more than that now. And brayer it over a stamp and then stamp the stamp and then put the foil over it and put it through the mink. So then I thought, hey, hey, what would happen if I took some of these um, batik fabrics that I have, strings everywhere, um, and maybe... I did a book cover way back with one of these. One of my first jelly jumpstart journals I covered with this before I started making my own jelly printed fabric to go with it. So I thought this was interesting colors. So maybe a piece of this. Here's another one. I got a bunch of these. I got these at Artistic Artifacts. They're, it's a store located in uh, Northern Virginia, D.C., um, if you know Susan Gantz, G-A-N-T-Z, you see her online with a lot of cyanotype and um, echo dyeing and, and polymer clay, different things that she does. She teaches there and she lives in the area. I met her in person when we took a class together in Virginia Beach a number of years ago. Um, in Virginia Beach, it was an art and soul. But she teaches artistic artifacts. This one's kind of dark, but that might be a really cool. It almost looks like rusted and patina in some places. They had they do a lot of fabric stuff there. I forget what class I even took there. It wasn't I think Susan was teaching it. I don't remember. My memory's a goner. Eileen would like this one. All the green leaves. So let's. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling that one with the circles on it. I thought it was going to be this one first. Let's do this one first. I guess it doesn't matter who's first. Who's on second? Um, also use sticky heat embossing powder to transfer foil if you're getting too much foil on the pieces. 
um, I, the alley, the reason I'm getting so much foil, I believe is because the acrylic paint on the jelly prints heat up in the mink and it all becomes sticky and it just pulls off the whole thing, just lifts off the, where I put the ink and, um, everywhere else for that matter. But I was thinking, do like maybe a little jelly printing on some of this in the spirit of the amount of time that I have. Maybe I'll just do this little piece and see what happens before we go hog wild. I like this dark blue on the brown in here too. I don't know if you can see that from down there. <clears throat> But if you like that kind of fabrics, I'm, I haven't been on their online store for quite a while. Um, but they're the ones that travel with Art and Soul shows. They move their store wherever Art and Soul is and set up a store in one of the conference rooms. So you can go in from your classes and buy whatever you need. If you have to order like <coughs> big sheets of watercolor paper. For a class, you can pre-order it with them and they'll bring it and drop it off in your classroom. It was really nice. Okay. I guess there's no front or back. They kind of look the same to me. I'm going to go with assuming this is the front. All right. Let me get out my other... Let me grab my rectangular plate Ooh. and maybe I'll use the, um, the luminaire. Uh, I don't have any of the golds. I did. I just ordered them actually, but I don't. How can that be that I don't have? I did have a gold. Hang on. Metallic gold. All right, we'll work with these. They'll show up on this, I think. I just want to get little subtle designs on there in my head. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Um, I was down here earlier playing. I wonder what that would look like over top of that. That might be... I don't know. Maybe. Might be a contender. I could just do pictographs over it. Or maybe my mug. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what surfboards would look like on that. What's going on here? Don't see. Eileen! Hello! <laughs> here, Eileen, I'll show you. This is just some old batik fabric that I had. I, You probably saw me post where I printed on that sponge mess yesterday. And then I thought, I'm going to foil that sucker. So I did. And then I got more ideas about foiling fabric. So I went into my batik stash and pulled out a couple. And I'm just gonna play with this little piece for right now. But I wonder if I put, no, that might cover too much. Hang on, I gotta talk my way through it. I don't want something that's gonna cover with big holes, it's gonna cover up all that design. I want the design to come through, but I want the brass over it. Actually, I think one of these would be probably the way to go. I think I might do the, the mug one. I don't know. We'll see. What the hell? Let's just get moving, shall we? See, you, April. I got those um, from Artistic Artifacts, um, Eileen. 
um, they're in Northern Virginia. They travel with Art and Soul uh, <sighs> retreats that uh, they're still happening. It's the Create ones that's not happening anymore. Those were the ones I really liked. Okay, let's... Let's try a mixture, because why use one color when you can use a couple? <laughs> oh, I, can, I would love to see your stash, Eileen. You need to do some kind of a quick, well, it wouldn't be quick, but you need to live stream us through your stash one day. It's only fair. I can't imagine the extent of her collection. I'm using more than I would normally because the fabric, at least yesterday, soaked it up. Now, I don't know if this has sizing in it or not. What the hell do I know? I don't know. Let's mix these up. So this is the Jacquard. Um, what is it? Luminaire fabric paint acrylic fabric paint. All right, let's get this bad boy on here. Let's see what happens. This is really thin. Oh, it's smaller than that. Uh oh, I cut a really small piece. Well, let's just, oh, maybe it's just right for the design. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Flo. And we let that absorb into the fabric and see what happens. Let's just see. The bronze worked out well in this. And let's see how this does since this is fabric paint. Oh. That looks kind of cool. It may not need much more than that if I'm going to add foil on top of this. Hmm. All right. Let's put that there. And let's... Um, Hmm. That went better than I thought. So I was a little stymied there. <laughs> what to do next? <laughs> um, look at you. What do I want to do with you? Maybe I could. Well, here we go. This is going to take me down a rabbit hole, but it looks too good to not try to do something cool with it. And I'm thinking black over that. That's what I'm thinking. See how crooked we can lay the deli on there. <laughs> oh, are they all closing, Z? I wonder if they're closing all over. I never get to mine. We just passed another one yesterday, but we were running late at the time, and I thought, yeah, we don't have to stop now. So the deck extension is done. 
Now I got to do something out there to fluff it up a little bit, soften it up. I ordered a, a rug to go under the table and chairs, and I ordered two more bar stools to sit on the other side of that bar that are shorter because it's up a step on one side. And a new lampshade cover for that lamp that comes up through the L, the uh, umbrella hole on the table. Oh, shoot. Are they still open, Z, that you can go there and stock up? If not, I'll try to get to the ones down here and do that for you. Hey, Eminem. Oh, look at you. You pretty little thing. Huh. Can't hate that. Um, so do I want to do anything? I don't think I'm going to do anything else to that. But I'm going to cut a piece of this. Might as well really get... If we're going to get it, let's just get it. Uh, where did I put my scissors already? I put them away. Look at how efficient you are. Nope. They're the short ones. Well, isn't that interesting? No idea where they are. I'm going to cut this little tail off of here. I can't cut straight to save me. All right, let's put this over here. This has all different colors through here. It's pretty interesting, actually. Well, since there's kind of a natural cut here, let's go with that, shall we? Yeah, let me know, Z. Okay. I don't know, both sides, I'm telling you, they look the same to me. Is that true of batik fabric? That they look the same? I think I like this side better. And I'm going to cut this in half so it's more manageable, both on the jelly plate and um, in the foiler. I'm not sure if this tears both ways. I don't know anything about fabric. All right, let's move this piece out of the way. And, all right, let's see. What do I want to do with this little rascal? Um... I really need to find something with these stencils. Sweet Moses. Honest to God. I think it's a blessing and a curse to have too many stencils. Now look again for just the right ratio of holes and not holes. Sorry, not looking at chat right at the moment. Oh, you know what? Maybe this. This Crazy Eights is pretty cool. I like this one. And do I want to do it on Tyvek envelopes? Fray. What did I, what did I mean to say? My thing about Batika doesn't fray. I've got strings all over the place. That's probably just me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use that for the top. Okay, so now do I want to do those colors again on here? Or do I want to put the... 
I wonder got a little happy mail from Z and it included some flakes gilding flakes from Cosmic Shimmer I'm trying to see if there's a blend that kind of would go with these what's this one look like oh oh well you're gonna have to come off of there I guess. oh jesus almost spilled the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> tonight is tonight a special night that I'm not aware of Eileen rather than any other night these have some cool, cool uh, pink and grayish blue little bits in there Let's just put a, a little bit down. My little bits are probably different than your little bits. <laughs> now, I'm debating, do I just want to do bronze on here? Or... One of the halos. Hey, Gail. Hey, Julie from New Zealand. <laughs> That's all right. I'm a little out of order myself, so we don't worry about that. Um, okay. What color am I going to put down here? Do I want it to really pop? Do I want it to blend again? Oh, hell. Let's just, let's do the same ones again. This is the metallic bronze luminaire. And this one is metallic gold. You know what? I'm not going to do the metallic gold. I'm going to do the halo pink gold. It's got some purpley, pinky kind of looking things in it for Eileen. So we'll just mix it up a little bit. I'm putting more on than I normally would do for the fabric to suck it up. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Uh-oh, did I pick out a stencil? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, the crazy eights. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. Don't anybody panic. Oh, crap. Get out of there. Um, let's put you down there. Oh. I guess it doesn't matter. If I can't tell the difference, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Which side's up and down? It's not like I'm making a garment for the runway or anything. I'm going to rip it in shreds and glue it into journal pages. The flakes, I think you have to be careful with trying to get a single layer of them down. Some of the brands, there's like clumps of, it must be like 20 sheets and they chop it up and some of the bits stick together and you can just like deal them off like a deck of cards. And when you put those down on your plate and you brayer through it, you got all kind of glitter boogers in your roller. Oh, not another thunderstorm. Come on. Oh, it will be light rain. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I 
All right. What do we have? Yeah, it's okay. It's like not pal, but I don't know. Do we always need pal? I do. I like a little pal. I got to tell you. Like there's some my other foil stuck to my stencil in the paint. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to pick this up on here. Oh. There's a little bit of wet paint around them. About pretty darn sure that I'll end up doing a header into it. Oh my God. Speaking of headers, I almost fell face first on the concrete floor down here today. I saw you posted that, Eileen. Good Lord. These poor flamingos. Oh, refreshing nosh there. I think I'm going to do something else on this. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You know what I'm going to do. What do I need to tell you? Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Oh, you know what else I want to try? Remind me to try these cosmic shimmers on the fabric through a stencil. <gasps> we should try that. Oh, look at that. See, when you stand it on its end, you get a little surprise there. Okay, let's. I don't want to put my finger right in it. Stop. It's like I've never jelly painted before. Oh, that would have been a good one, too. I was looking for that stencil earlier. But now, let's just do this. We're here. <coughs> All right, let's see what happens. We call her flow. <laughs> this is the bronze, yeah. Wow. It's like not even there. Talk about a shadowy print. Where is it? I mean, I can see a couple little bits on there. What the hell happened to that? That's no good. I put a lot of paint down there, too. That's really strange. I don't even see any coming up on the deli. Did it dry that quickly? No, it's too, it's like 80 some percent humidity here today. Not that it is exactly that inside, but look, what the hell? Hmm. Probably don't even need to do that. That was odd. Let's see what we get with this. Might as well get some good collage bits while I'm at. What the hell is that on my? Oh, look. My petite that doesn't fray. Got a string on my brayer. Making designs everywhere. Get off. That's like a booger. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I was going to put fabric down there.
Yeah, if that if that paint roll off the ones I showed you earlier that I foiled, if that would have worked right with, I'm going to try it on a one. I wonder what, an, and does anybody know what the setting on the one on the mink is supposed to foil? I'm going to try it on the one next time. looks different than I thought it was going to come out. Look how smooth it is up there and the texture where you see the black more down here. Isn't that weird? It's like halvesies down the jelly plate. Some mysterious phenomenon happened down here today. Okay. Um, well, that was disappointing with this second layer on here because there's a lot of open bits. Well, we'll just, we're going to go with this. What time is it? 6.50, so let's call it 7. Let's switch from printing more fabric to going back here and figuring out what, um, well, now i got to pick stamps out of what stamps I'm going to put on here to foil. Oh, mercy. Hang on. I wish I had a gigantic one. I don't know if this is dry enough to peel off. Eileen, watch this in case it's dry enough. Looky there. Viola. Okay, we're ready to go. Hi, <laughs> Lane, you ninny. Let's, oh, you know what would look cool? My script stamps, my script stamps over this. <laughs> huh. That one's a perfect one to go this way. <gasps> I think I'm going to do it. Hey, Gilly. I'm just going to put a little bit down here because this is precious stuff. And this is a teeny down a little stamp surface on here. Oh, wrong brayer. Oh, did you see what I almost did? Don't let me do it, Eileen. Okay, here we go. Well, it's a little bit on there. That's coming out really thin. Go back to this one. Of course, it's a really thin stamp. So, what was I expecting? that one. Dean it down a bit more. Let's 
Now what other stamps am I going to put on the other one? All right. Oh, that's the best one. Oh, hell. <laughs> My last one's the best one. All right, let me try to wipe these off. These are precious. We must take out time to clean them. See, Flo? I'm only going to be on till like 7.30, 7.40-ish. We're having a later dinner and I need to get up there and get ready. Okay, let's put you up there. Let's put you over here to dry. And now, oh, that's good. What am I going to put on this one? Um, Oh, you know what? I just had a thought. If I no, the gold. I think the gold will show. Okay. Maybe I'll try that font stamp again on the fabric, since on the paper, not so good. This is this is the one it was that was on that piece of soon to be washi tape I showed you guys earlier. Kind of curly. Yeah, this was literally last minute. I think I had about an eight minute warning. Like, oh hell, I'll run down there for an hour and a half. I can't just sit around watching TV all day when I don't have anything specific to do. The weather was really crappy. I've been doing it for too many months and I'm getting ready to go cuckoo. <laughs> Do I want to, maybe I'll just make a row down through here. I tried to enlarge that for you, Patty, but you sent it as a P. Oh, crap. Um, it did? I thought I sent you the JPEG. I'll have to look at it again, Eileen. I'll, um, I appreciate you doing that. I will, uh, I'll have another look at that. I think this, if this came out with foil, this would be really pretty. That's what I think. Okay, I'll have to look. I'm sure. I think those fonts were sent to us in ping, JPEG. I didn't think they sent me a PDF. That's why I'm a little puzzled that it came through as a PDF. How rude. Oh, man, if this comes out, that's going to look cool. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Let's put that on there in case anything comes out of that. Well, I know that's not going to work. What the hell do I care? That's not going to come out on there anyway. It's going to melt and come out solid gold. Haven't we learned that yet? <laughs> Ooh, that stuff is sticky. I still got crap under my fingernails from earlier. I couldn't get completely carved out of there. I'll come out when I take a shower. I might have a little soak in the old tub tonight.
Oh, I wouldn't even dream about washing them, Julie. I'm just going to glue mine into a, rip it up in strips and glue it as an embellishment and a journal page is what I'm going to do with these. I can't imagine that the uh, foil would survive washing. What the hell do I know? It might. I don't know. I, I would be surprised, but you know what? I got more stuff on here. What am I going to do? I don't want to waste that toner. It's precious. Oh, there's a sponge. There's more. I had a little skinny piece of this stuff somewhere. Here we go. Oop. Lord. See this phrase, Eileen? Can you see the little strings? They're there, trust me. Do I have faux boutique? But batik. Paint pen to use would be following. I'm not sure about right. That's what I think. All right, let's oh I gotta find a stamp quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Right, you know what? I don't know if this will be too big. Let's just try to run some. I'm just going to go this way. If it fits, it fits. Oh, it's going to fit. Now I've got to put more down. <laughs> just a little bit. Little teeny tiny bit. Well, yeah, I thought you said it doesn't fray. You just mean if it's just sitting there, it's not going to fray? I don't fray either from just sitting there. <laughs> um, it seems like, Julie, that I saw somebody said, that, oh, Jim, when he was in with us in chat the other day, I think he said something about taking a class to foil on T-shirts. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks for clarifying that, Eileen. <laughs> it's not how I roll. Um, maybe Google and see if there's a class for that and see what, you know, you can figure out what they used. Or even better yet, take the class. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Chelsea's down Ocean City. Tomorrow is her and Pete's birthday. And they took the kids down, so it's... Owen's been to the beach before, but Cammie's never been to the beach. Well, I guess she was last year as an infant. Uh, a couple months old, but... Not that she would ever remember it. I'm anxious to see what they uh, got into with him on the beach. Did you guys see the Captain America motorcycle? Mo Look, I got more left. Son of a bitch. All right, let's see. Oh, oh my, what are we going to do with that? Ah. I'm just going to take this little teeny tiny piece right here, and we're just going to use this. And it's going to go as far as it goes. I'm not putting any more down. It's like an endless, an endless thing. <laughs> now, I don't know if they have, would have like an online version. I'm not sure it was an in-person class. But, I mean, you could pull it off. It's not that far. He's in California. <laughs> it's not like I'm asking you to come to Maryland.
rip it to get it straight and cut it after that. This is why I keep you around, Eileen. Now you can hear that getting sticky as it's drying. Whatever comes out on this one is going to be it. And it's a little crooked, I think, but that's okay. All right. Get off. Get off of there. I'll have all my stamps so gummed up. I do have the cleaner, but I'm telling you, it didn't seem to work great earlier. Probably me. That's okay. All right. Let's get her going. Let me go heat this bad boy up, and I'm going to put it, I think I'm going to put it on a two. And let's see what happens. All right, let's move you over here. Let's move you here. Um, I guess this is the first one we did. I know that's dry. It's so fine. I hope that works because that would be a shame to not have that work on that one. Um, I'm going to put gold on here, I think. Oh, as sister would say. Uh-oh. I went through my first, yard, uh, what is it, four yards on here? Is it 12 feet? I heard her beep. It's ready already. Already ready. I don't have red. I know. It's going to be a different a different gold and a different shine. I don't have a lot of contrasting colors that would look good on there. I have a purple. I have black. I don't think black would do it any favors. I'm just going to put this on there and see what happens. All right, here goes nothing. Another one I'm doing for you to show you what not to do with your mink. <laughs> and then when they come out, we're all surprised. This one I'm a little unsure of. It'll either be gorgeous. I might have to get some red foil. That might be a good one to have. All right, it's going in. Whatever comes out, that's the way it's going to be. What is it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the foil quill doesn't work in the mink, right? Does that work in the mink? Oh, does, wait a minute. Does that work? Anybody know? The foil, foil, foil. Because in that, I have rose gold, which would look pretty on some of these. Yeah, it is heat activated, but the machine gets really hot. I know it's sticking to the foil. I mean, sticking to the toner, but would it stick to the toner when it gets hot in the machine? I think we shall test it. I'll use this little scrappy piece here. I hate these boxes, though. I got to tell you, these are nobody's friend.
Come on. That's what I'm going to do. That's what we do here. We try this shit. That's what we do. Again with the what not to do. All right. Let me just do it with this little bit right here. Look at all these strings that don't fray. <laughs> oh, cut a hunk of the material. <laughs> mm. Now, I, where is that big pair of scissors? Here, I have two of these. I can only find one. Is this a big one? No, nope, that's my two medium ones. Who in the hell knows? All right. Hang on. Hang on to your hats. Let's wait for the big reveal. <laughs> yeah, this might be a little too much, but I'll put it in the scrap bin. All right, she's going in. Here goes the... Quill, quill, quill. All right. If this doesn't come out like it's in my head, I'm going to be very disappointed. Well, it's there. Again, not too contrasty, right? And the paint, look over here. The paint did pick up some of the foil. And that's on a two. See where the edge of the foil was on that big arc piece here and where it's not on the edge? So it does pick up a little bit of the foil. That was on a two, which just made the bottom bit shinier. And see the top of that circle? Oh, you can't see it like that. Well, can't see it like that either, but it's half and half. <laughs> not half. It's right here through the middle of that orange dot underneath of it. You can kind of see it where it stops there. Um, I think it would be kind of cool. Again, in my head, maybe what I should have done is go over this with like, instead of this gold mix under for the paint, done like the halo blue green. And then come back with the gold. We'll do that on the next piece of that. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Here we go. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Robin, you can't hate it. Hey, Debbie. So here we go. Let's see what happened. This is the... We are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Heat Activated Foil. It worked. <gasps> Actually, it worked pretty good. And it's got little speckles all over the fabric of it. Hang on. Let's see if we can pick up the little speckles. Gosh, it's hard to see. It looks maybe down here in this plain little section down here. There you go. You can see a little bit of it. But it is rose gold. And it looks it looks pretty cool, actually. Well, there you go. You learned it here. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so you can see where that came off um, 
all the little shapes of the coffee stencil real finely removed underneath of there along with the script. You can see it if you really try. Now this one, what color do I want to put on this one? If this one comes out, it's going to be fabulous. Maybe champagne. Let's try that. Oh, Lordy. Well, that didn't work out so smooth. <laughs> Is that only one? No. More than one. I thought there were supposed to be five in here, and I think this is a new package. Four, five. There we go. They are really stuck together. I don't think so. It might work. What might work? Uh, Julie, you're sorry. Oh, I see what you're saying, Julie, to layer the foils. Oh, my. Now you're really getting into it. <laughs> Did I put all of those away? Son of a... No. Put me down for one gala. Really? Pay attention. Thinking about that would be kind of cool too, right? What's the worst that can happen? I won't have time to mess with it tonight because it's already 20 after 7. I'm going to get these last bits spoiled here. And then, um, if this is two, it is two. I'm going to do that one with that. <laughs> That's how to fix that. Now, do I have any in there? No. Let's get this baby run through. And I might do that other piece of this fabric with, with the pictographs on it in the rose gold depending on how this comes out. Get on there. Oh, please come out with just the font. I think that would be beauty mess. Here we go. All right, now, I think this is the last one. Hey, babe. I'll be up in another 10 minutes or so. You yeah, I'll be up in another 10 minutes or so. <laughs> you don't believe me? Nope. So <laughs> Um, so I don't know. Do I want to do it in this or do I want to do something that's going to... I think I'll do it in another champagne. He doesn't believe me. He knows how I get when I get going. But I do really have to. All right. Put that over there. We're going to put this one like so and cut a strip of this off here look at that straight cut it's like I'm a machine Jesus <laughs> Rankin. Hello, Rankin. Uh, the mink on a setting of two. And that's, that's on fabric. Which you can probably tell. All right. Oh, this one, if this one comes out like it's in my head, it's going to be really birdie. We rarely do. 
It's a shame. Okay. Oh. Well, now I'm sorry I have the design underneath of that. So next time we will know. Look at you. You can't see it's too busy where the design is. But look out here where the design isn't. Trying to get the foil to all shine so you can see the font. It's so hard to show. It's really there. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Look in between here, maybe. In between those two, can you see it? It's there. <laughs> but I'm going to do it again. Not tonight. But I'm going to do it again without any background, just right on the fabric. That would be really pretty. And on this end, you can see it. Just those frilly ends of the letters. Oh, crap. You can't see it. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Wouldn't that be pretty just on the fabric? Ah, uh, all right, no jelly plating, just putting on the foil. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Are you back? Did you guys hear that? I'm going to do, you know what, I can't stand it. I'm going to do another one. Gosh darn it. I hate it when Dave's right. I'm just getting a little piece of fabric. Good enough. Feedback. I threw that foil. I don't know if there was some kind of magnetic reaction or something happened, but it actually just lay in the fabric on top of my keyboard. Apparently hit the mute button and turned it off of mute. And then you get that feedback using Minicam. Like, seriously? All right, I'm going to do it. Oh, crap. It's dry there. Gosh darn it. And I knew that. <laughs> oh, that's too thin. Come on, work with me. Work with me, baby. Let's come up with a what to do instead of a what not to do, shall we? Oh, that's a better impression. I'm going to use this and get one more down the edge. So it'll be this edge. I'll concentrate the ink over here. Oops. Now, what color do I want to do it in? 
gold, champagne. You will have to rename this foiled again. <laughs> I think a lot of people are get ticked off because I really don't know what I'm doing. I just experiment and sometimes I trip into something cool and sometimes I don't. And then they'll ask me and and the questions about, well, what if I use this? How does this product work? What would that product? I, I got no idea. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I am doing, let alone about all the other stuff. All right. Um, we have laying out here. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, hell with it. I'll just grab one of these. Oh, we just got one. Oh, I'm not going to worry about that a little bit. Not going to worry about it. <laughs> okay, this is the pictograph one. It's so hard to show because it's so shiny, it, it like doesn't really pick up, but you can see that that worked. Now, if I could tear little strips of that, wouldn't that look cool? That's what I'm thinking. Now, come on, baby. Work with mama. Work with mama. Okay, one more. Ooh, here we go. She's in. All right, that should be out in a couple minutes. Or a couple, well, Minutes, seconds, whatever. Impulse buying. <laughs> I cannot be held responsible for that. That's your own. That's your own self-control issues. <laughs> Don't blame me for that. Oh, bless your hearts. Okay, let's get that in there. I like this stamp though. I used to use that in my rubber, uh, my um, polymer clay tiles. <laughs> okay. See? That's not my issue. Well, it is, but <laughs> yours isn't my issue. <laughs> if you people can't control yourselves, whose fault is that? Um, I need to get a hard board underneath of this. Whip up a couple pictures real quick so I don't have to come back down. Oh, where the hell did the camera go? See, now I'm trying to hurry up. That, nothing ever ha good happens there. These are so tricky to photograph. Is it out? No, oh, it's out. And these were all due on the done on the number two setting. All right. Cross your fingers. Oops. Come on. Yes, these will start showing up in my collages. If I get a chance to stream, 
What's today? What's today? Saturday, right? If I get a chance to stream tomorrow, I'm going to use some of these in a collage. Oh my. Hello, lover. Look at you. Now see this one, how it came out really light when I didn't have as much toner on this one. And then I got it sticking better over here, but it's still pretty. It's just harder to see that it's actually script. You can, but there you go. You can't hate that, people. Um, Gail, I don't think it's got any brand information on it. Um, oh, wait. It says something. Stampendous CRR138. Take a screenshot. My hands are too shaky. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, well, that was a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mama, like you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What time is it? 7.33. See, I'm almost, I almost didn't lie to my husband. <laughs> now I've got to take the damn pictures. Here's this one with the, and that's good to know. With the, oh, come on, rose gold, really? Really difficult. Really, really difficult. What do I have up here? Oh, that's this one. I don't know. That's kind of a... I'd classify that more in a fail, I think. It made it too busy and didn't contrast enough. And I think Mama going to need some other colors of foil. <laughs> so I'm going to keep up this pace. And here's the first one, which actually, the colors are really pretty. And even though it's not all that bold on there, it's there. All right, kids. I want to get the paint and the foil to show reflective. Whew, that's not easy. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to sign off. And hopefully sometime tomorrow. Z, you said you were not going to stream, I think, tomorrow. Hi, La. He, La. Hello. That's a new name. Thank you. Welcome. I'm just signing off, though, for today. But I'll be back. If you follow me on social media, I will post when I know. I'm going live. Sometimes it's a five-minute warning. Sometimes it's five hours. It's all a crapshoot here. See you, Kath. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks, Mods. Z, Gala, everybody else that was on. I appreciate it. Hey, did um, Joan ever show up? I didn't see Joan. I thought she said she was going to. But it is Paul's birthday. So I'm not. I just want to make sure she was okay. All right, New Zealanders. You little Kiwi. You cute little Kiwi, you. All right, I'm going to go fix some din bin. Take care.